I'm holding one of the most revolutionary truck platforms ever made, the HPI Savage. <laughs> HPI just announced the release of another epic HPI Savage XL. Now that is this one right over here in my hand. Currently, the lineup of the Savage model consists of the GT6, which is a 4.6 big block, but we all wanted the most epic Savage ever made, which in fact has a three-speed transmission, a .36 big block engine. This truck right here will hit over 45 miles an hour. In this video, I would like to discuss exactly what HPI plans on selling us, the price, the features, is it cooler than the last outgoing generation of the Savage XL? What can you expect? And right behind me, I have the original box from this exact truck. The news just came out. This is a special Nitro Gang news report. Which Nitro are you going to get? The regular Savage X4.6 or are we all going to wait for the most sickening Nitro ever made with a three-speed automatic transmission, the XL? Let's go to HPI's product video. I will do a little bit of narration after tell you what I think about the new and improved features and maybe some things that I really don't care that much about. But at the end of the day, HPI is making more nitros great again by selling them to us. And I am very happy about that. <laughs> down view obviously the Savage XL well it's longer than the regular GT6 but it's not just longer the tires themselves are also I would say substantially taller as well now this gives it a very good top speed when the new Savage XL comes out we're gonna have to test top speed on that as well because on this channel we know the facts now this one, for those of you that might not know, I've clocked at 46 miles an hour. That is quite fast. Now I did check the tires on the new XL and it appears that they are in fact the same exact size as the current generation of the 4.6 model. That's going to be a little bit interesting because you really need a taller tire size in terms of diameter to generate some of that top speed. And these Terrapin tires... If you've never ran them, you would be surprised by just how incredible they actually are. Now, after watching the HPI product video, I've noticed one super obvious difference concerning the new Savage XL. If you take a look at the old one, we're running dual shocks on each wheel. Now, the regular 4.6 model here runs a single damper on each side which is fine. These are big bore shocks, so it's quite normal. These are much thinner shocks overall. Dampening is very good on each one. This one has extremely good dampening. Well, so good that it rolled off the table. This one has extremely good dampening as well. Now I noticed on the new XL, they've went with the single shock setup. 
Now I'm gonna say, I don't mind it. You know, it's neither really good and it's not really bad. It's easier in terms of maintenance, less issues to worry about. The original Savage, yes, it was known for the dual shock setup. But do you really need dual shocks when you have one big bore shock? I don't know. This one seems to be quite great. And I've ran this really hard at the beach. I've uh, hit the two speed on this and I haven't had a single malfunction with this generation of newer Savage. Now needless to say there are a couple of the same changes that HPI made on the newest generation that will be carrying over to the XL model. Mainly the captured hinge pins, although I never had a problem with the hinge pins popping out. Man, can't get this thing on the table, it's so heavy. The body, I do like the look of the new body. At first I wasn't really sold on it, but now I gotta say this is a sharp looking body with uh, nice inserts here in the grill. You can remove these if you want. A couple inserts here in the hood. So these are just removable if you wanna put something else in. You can also uh, mirrors here. The old generation bodies, they were just basic Lexan bodies. Good color scheme, but really nothing as uh, entertaining as modern body packages, which most manufacturers today, they tend to have more detailed and realistic looking bodies with some accessories that are removable as well. In terms of the chassis, you could tell the most significant interesting chassis feature is the Savage XL logo on the side of the chassis. The new one has that as well. That makes me happy. I like seeing that on the side of the chassis. The Savage XL is known for a couple of great items. And those items you could really only see with the body off. So I suggest, let's take the body off, throw it right over there, and I will go over some of the most intricate chassis features of the Savage XL. Well, the new one has an updated F5.9 motor. Basically, these are .36 displacement engines. Insane in terms of displacement. This is the largest HPI engine ever to be put in to a ready-to-run HPI from the factory. There are some other brands that had larger engines, mainly Sen and also Thunder Tiger, but they were relatively low RPM motors. These, they're actually quite good in terms of RPM. Now the next most interesting thing, it's hidden inside here. The Savage XL comes factory with a three-speed transmission. And also, when you have the three-speed and you got a lot of horsepower, guys, you need yourself a metal spur gear. So we have a factory metal spur gear. Now these features I'm detailing now are direct carryover transfers to the new Savage XL. And that makes me very happy because HPI is not dropping some of their relatively expensive optional upgrades, which these used to be at one point in time. Another very important feature on the new XL is the aluminum pipe is being carried over. So this one is factory. What you're looking at here in terms of this Savage XL, it is 100% stock. And I gotta say, the best features of the old outgoing Savage are being carried over. And that, that makes me happy. Let's move over to the regular 4.6 model. I'm just going to compare and contrast some of the features that make the XL way more unique as compared to this. From the top down view, you can definitely see the 4.6 model has a composite plastic tuned pipe. It's still a very good pipe, absolutely nothing wrong with it. This is an F4.6 motor, which is a 0.28, rated at about 2.9 horsepower. In terms of transmission, we have a basic plastic spur gear, and this includes a two-speed transmission. Really nothing else is that unique. This follows the Savage formula pretty much ever since they came out. You stick a big block engine, you give it a nice large pipe, you put a two-speed, and you give it some big wheels and tires and some nice plush suspension. And that is what every Savage is known for, guys. Of course, when you go XL, you add some more speed, you add some more gears, and you add, most importantly, some length. If you're asking yourself, well, XL, okay, uh, how did they extend the chassis? Go ahead, ask yourself, how did they extend the chassis? Let me show you what they did. Top down view, you could see a whole bunch of extra space 
right behind the motor. Look at all that space the drive shaft has to sit in. Very nice. These are Roto Start, and the new one has the new Roto Start 3. Very convenient system. The fact is, trying to pull start on an engine with this much compression is probably going to break your wrist. I'm just kidding about that. The regular Savage, you could see the rear bulkhead, shock tower, shock start right where the engine ends. Convenient pull starter handle included on this model. We're gonna talk about how much this one originally cost. Go ahead guys, take a guess. How much do you think this was? And yes, I will be telling you the price of the new Savage XL. I have confirmed it and it is $699. There is proof here in this Instagram post, take a look. HPI themselves literally wrote USD 699. I would say that is a very good deal. Your question, well, how much was the old Savage, right? I'm going to show you on this original Savage XL box. I don't throw out any of my boxes, guys. And in fact, HPI boxes, including this Micro RS4, are some of the most entertaining. So this is the box the Savage on the table came in. You could see right here we have on the front three-speed transmission. I like that. Man, you, you gotta see the three-speed and you gotta hear it. When you hear it, you'll understand what it's all about. Okay, we're going over to the original price. Right here we go, 589. So my understanding is this model was released maybe around uh, 2011. Now the XL came out a couple years earlier. This is not the last generation one. There were some newer ones, but guys, 589. I gotta tell you, HPI didn't raise the price on the new one that much. If they do for sure in retail for $6.99, in my opinion, that would be a bargain, if you ask me. Well, guys, a look at some of these Savages. No problems with this. And in fact, I am extremely confident when I run my XL. It is usually one of the fastest Nitros anywhere I go. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. I'm going to do my best to get the brand new Savage XL, and then we will speed test that one, see what it's all about. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order.